Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about wikilinking. The first page on any team site is always a wiki page. That's a good word to remember, wiki page. It differs from the web part page. You, in old versions of SharePoint, pre-2010, the default page on a SharePoint site was a web part page. But from 2010 and forward, the default page is the wiki page. And on any such page, you can use wiki linking. And what that means is that you can link to a page that doesn't exist yet. It's rather powerful. So here's the party page I'm doing here. And of course, I want to have some information about the food that's going to be available. And as you'll notice, I'm typing that within square brackets. And that's uh, the way to add square brackets is doing the alt graphics key, the one to the right of your space on the keyboard and then you press the 8 or 9, depending on your original and your language settings, of course, on your keyboard. But the square brackets is what you need, and you put two of them in front and two of them at the back. And I'll do that the same way with the drinks and the entertainment. Like that. Now, if I save that, you'll notice that these three are under or hyperlinked, but and as you notice also underneath here, you'll see that they're pointing to drinks ASPX in the site pages library. I'm looking at the bottom of the screen there where I can see the URL that I'm pointing to. But those pages obviously do not exist yet. I'm going to go just to prove it to you that I'm not doing anything behind the backs, behind the scenes here. Um, in the site pages, there's just the home and how to use this library, the default pages. So back to the home page. Now, if I click on this food, you'll notice that I get the question, this page does not exist. Do you want to create it? And yes, I do. Then I can start. We will type that. Appetizers. Something. Blah, blah, blah. More like that. That's the food page. And as you'll notice, if I go back now to the home page, this link now is no longer under dashed. It's properly hyperlinked. So if I click on that now, I go to the foods page. So that's one way to use wiki links to kind of do a layout of what information do you want. Because that's one thing that makes web pages different than you know, Word documents. A Word document just continues downwards with, and you scroll down page after page after page. But you shouldn't really do that in a web page. Here's the outline and here's what you need to know. And if you want to read more, then click here. So wiki linking is a really good way of doing that, putting the headlines and then you make more pages. A few other ways you can use wiki links. See, if I start typing just these things, you see I get a list of all the existing pages there, the food and the home and how to use this library. These are the existing pages, but I can also link to a particular list. So if I click on that, you see I get the departments, documents, and the pics and so on. If I click on pics, there I get a link to that. I can also continue like that, put a link to a particular item in the list. So I'll just do departments. And if I continue there now, I can actually link to a particular item. So if I click to north there, you'll notice what happens. And it opens it up in a window too, and that's rather beautiful, I think. And you can also link to a particular view. So in the pics, which is a picture library, I have a few different views to find there. So for one thing here, I'm going to the view, and then I get the pics, and here you see I can select the different views there. Sometimes I do get a selector there too. Let's see if I, there we go. I, I pressed control and space, so I got all the items. So if I want to go to the slides, I can do that. So let's try the same thing with picking on the list there, and I'll just do departments. There we go, now I get the slider too. If I press tab, then I get the selector there. So that's a rather nice way of linking to a particular item in a list. And you'll also notice here in the link here that I get links, link points to three, as you see. And then there's a pipe symbol showing what um, should be displayed on the link. So it's pointing to the number three ID of the item. And then the after the pipe is the display text or what's going to be displayed. You can actually use that here also in your links like this. So if I put a pipe symbol here, what we are going to eat. 
and just save that, you'll notice that what's being displayed here is what we're going to eat, but it still points to the food page. So that concludes my demo on wiki pages. Thank you for watching this demo.